Now, is it possible to eat your way to your best health without counting calories or putting yourself on a restrictive routine? Our next guest says absolutely. Megan Telpner is the author behind The Undiet, a book that's pushing people out of diet deprivation and into enjoying food at its finest. Today she's here to show us a little bit about our own, making our own milk from nuts. Before we do this though, let me yeah. ask you about the motivation that you had for the undiet because at one point you were pretty sick. I was pretty sick. I was working in advertising at the time and my body was giving me a lot of messages that it was not the right thing for me and I did get very sick. I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that I was told was incurable. I was 26. And that disease was colitis? Crohn's disease. Or, yeah. Yes, very similar. Similar. Okay, so and what was what was your eating habit like at that time? My eating had always been what most people would consider quite healthy. Okay. But I didn't know how to cook. So without cooking, it can only go so far. And in the process of trying to get myself well and not have to use the medications, that was when I really got into lurk, lurk, looking at and working with whole foods and then also looking at lifestyle modifications. So that's a whole new world for you it, at that it, point. At the time it was a whole new world but it felt amazing. Amazing. Within a month I was symptom free. That is amazing. Yeah. Symptom free and symptom you still are. Seven years later. Wow. So now with all this knowledge and you're a nutritionist and you've got a, a number of different... The book covers a lot of things, not just recipes, but I want to ask you about nut milk. Yeah. First of all, why is it so important? Because everybody's getting into all these different kinds of nut milks, but many of us would buy them in a box in the grocery store. You're saying make it at home. It's so easy to make at home. A lot of what, I mean, the first reason we want to try this out is because a lot of people are having challenges with dairy. Okay. And with digestive issues, it might be a good thing to try and work around. So we want to get into making our own nut milk because what we're buying in the store is often pasteurized, it's often watered down, it often has extra preservatives, sugar, other stuff in it, and it's expensive. Yes, it is. To make it yourself is incredibly simple and really okay. quick. Okay, so what kinds of nuts would you typically use? What we're going to use today are a mix of uh, almonds and hazelnuts. Oh, oh, yum. So we've soaked them, which will help increase their digestibility. Uh, and you can tell by the sound that they're making. They're not. The, the, so you're soaking, you soak maybe overnight in water soak or? Soak it from oh. two to six hours. Okay. But even if you don't soak them at all, still doing it yourself is going to be better than what you buy in the store. Oh, okay. So first we're just going to make straight up almond hazelnut milk. I'm just going to add some water to here. And we turn on the blender. So a little over a cup or about a cup of water there? About a cup, yeah. Okay. So we typically do about one part nuts to four parts water. Okay. A little bit less today. So I'm just going to put this on and blend it up. And at home you might want to run it a touch longer. A little bit longer, but still you're getting the... Yes. So you can... Oh, let's put idea. this back here. Mm -hmm. So you can strain this out using cheesecloth or a fine sieve. I like to use what I call my nut sack. Okay. So this is how we milk our nuts. So we just pour this through here. And we'll set that one aside. And wow. they're giggling at the nut sack. I know. We are just going to literally milk our nuts. So we squeeze that out. That's how you make nut milk. And that's it. That's, Done. <laughs> that's and it. And you're not going to add anything to that? No sugar? Well, Here's what we can do. Now, a lot of people love their chocolate milk. Yes. And we see this thing about, you know, like that camping <laughs> after your workout right? with chocolate milk. Well, what if instead we make our own chocolate milk? Out of this. Out of this. So that took 30 seconds. Yeah, that's easy. How long can you keep this, by the this way? This will stay in the fridge for two to three days. I love that. And you can also freeze it. So what's really great is to freeze it in ice cube trays, and you can just throw that into your shakes and smoothies. And then there's your breakfast. And or there's your breakfast. Whatever. Or I love that. Exactly. So this Easy. you can use in your baking, in your cereal, anything you would normally use okay. milk for. And you can see it's pretty thick and creamy. Isn't that great? And then you'd add that. Okay. And then you'd add it. So if you wanted to take it to chocolate milk, we would just add in the chocolate. Some cocoa. Some cocoa. A sweetener of choice, maybe a raw honey coconut syrup. Blend it together. Great idea. To do that today. Okay. No, well, we're out of time we're now, out of time. But, the, but the chocolate milk is a great idea. Easy to make the nut milk based on what you just did. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For coming Thank in. The you. book is called The Undiet. And for the nut milk recipe and a link to Megan's blog, head to our website, canadaam.cdvnews.ca.